Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing an organization of some of the cupboards in my kitchen. So if you're interested to see how I get on, then just continue to watch. So hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do new videos on this channel every week. And if you're one of my lovely subscribers coming back, thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't already, there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so you may have seen my under the sink organization that I did not long ago probably just over a week ago. And I also did a few more cupboards in my kitchen that weren't working for me. So I've split it up into two videos because I just didn't wanna bore you all, but I'm really, really happy with how things have turned out and I can't wait to share it with you. I hope it helps and you pick up some ideas. And yeah, let's go on to the first cupboard. Okay, so there are two or three places in the kitchen that are not working for us so if you saw when we did the kitchen i organized every single cupboard i bought nice boxes and i tried to do it and put everything back in as we used it to make it work the best for us um we're almost into a whole year of having the kitchen and i'm happy and pleased to say that most of the cupboards and the drawers and the systems are working for us apart from a few and so that's what i'm going to tackle today i'm going to have a look at the two or three main areas and believe it or not well i knew it would happen it is the corner cupboards we decided to have when we had our kitchen that we would have the corn cupboards that open like in the center so you can open the whole cupboard out and see what's in there i didn't want to have like any of those carousels in there because you waste so much space so i just tried to come up with some of my own cupboard solutions now i'm going to show you in this cupboard don't judge me i'm going to back you up just a tiny bit now the top shelf in here actually is working for us but the bottom is not and you will see exactly why okay so this is my corner cupboard now in here the top actually works really really well for us i bought two of these lazy susans from ikea they were about 10 pounds each this one has all the sauces on this one has all like vinegars and like Sy um, syrups as it were and like things like that and then this middle one so we have all like the mustards in the middle i do have like some spares over the back and granules and salt and stuff over there and then like i say this one is vinegars and soy sauce and stuff but down here as you can see it is just mayhem so what i have in here are snacks for the kids well crisps and nuts then i have any spare bread that doesn't go in our bread bin any rice cake we have like popcorn then this basket over here is cereal that doesn't go into our dispensers which are at the top and then spare flour now i don't know why the flour is in this cupboard i am going to take that out and then what i'm going to try and do is just make this work a little bit better i think one of the main problems is i've got these baskets in here which i love i've got them throughout the kitchen these are just 3.99 from aldi but you can also get them in home bargains now but you i have to fill two of these with crisps so it's just very awkward because they don't go for the back ones and then these baskets are a little bit too small for the cereal so i might try and use them for something else or somewhere else so what i'm going to do is just try and use a few more systems so i've bought or i have a line around the house one of these big baskets this is from home bargains i'm going to decant all the crisps into this so they're just in one big box i think that will massively help and then i've also got um this shelf basket which i might see if it fits in here but it might not because of the corner design but if it does i might use this to put like the spare bread in the top so it kind of keeps it away from the rest and then i think what i might try and do is see if i can get another one of these for the cereals as well i'm sure i've got another one lying around these are relatively cheap they're like maybe three pound four pounds something like that they are so so useful i have tens of them in different sizes 
but yeah this is from home bargains i love like the basket weave design yeah i'm just gonna get everything out and then try and put it into some other baskets and see how it works It is all nice and empty in there now. So I definitely feel like these crisps can go back in here where they were, but that just fits so much better in that corner. So try and get a better angle. So awkward when it's a corner cupboard. Yeah, so these fit just nice in that corner now. They're just a lot neater. And then I'm just gonna see, fingers crossed, if this fits in here somehow it's just whether it will like i say because of the design oh it fits <laughs> so can we see that there that just fits so nice there i can still access that and it will still be able to access the rest of the cupboard but in here i'm just thinking of putting i hope they fit just spare bread and I'm thinking maybe that is so good now so then I've just got my spare bread spare wraps and rice cakes I only really have one loaf over and um, because my bread bin actually fits two loaves in as well but we go through so much bread here so that is great that that is just out of the way and it doesn't get like lost in the rest of the cupboard now the one thing left is cereal so just think of that underneath so one of those would fit underneath i'm wondering whether to see if i've got another one of those boxes to put underneath here for cereal because like i say the cereal at the moment doesn't quite fit in these unless i use two of these for the cereal and um, that might work i can try that first that actually works so cereal fits underneath quite nice actually at least i can see what i've got i always take the cereal out of the boxes just so i can see what's in the bags i feel like you know the boxes are great if you need them but we decant ours into cereal dispensers anyway and then when they're out of the bags you can just fit so much more in and also you can see how much you have left and it's easier when you come in to replenish your cereal so i've just put those two boxes in there and as you can see i've still got the whole of that corner in there so i'm thinking um just thinking how to make this work because the one thing we've got left is like more snacks like the popcorn and the like doritos and stuff so i'm just thinking how to best make that work whether to get another one of these so that you've just got like two in a row and they're just easier to pick out. I have a cupboard that I need to declutter that's got some of those big boxes in, so I'll go and grab some of them now. Just gone and grabbed another one of these, which I have, which is full of like flasks and stuff. Now this, oh, this box is from a cupboard that I also need to declutter, which is another one that's not working for us. So I'm just gonna get all of this out and use this um, basket. One thing that I have found whilst I was in that cupboard was the fact that I have biscuits in the other cupboard, which I kind of want to move over to here as well, because I just want to try and keep all the food together. I used to have the biscuits underneath the tea because, you know, that's where I thought it would go nice. Um, but I'm changing my mind and I feel like maybe I should move the biscuits over here. So... Now I've got this basket, I'm just going to fill this with popcorn and tortillas. And I'll probably put the open ones in here as well. So this I'm thinking I will just put the corner because... It was 
still be easy to get to, but it just makes it so much tidier in here. Okay. Now with that of the corner, I do have, let me move around this way. I do have, can we see in here? It's gonna be so awkward to see. Okay, so I do have a little space here still here so i've just got the biscuits we are currently in one of my old faithful b m see-through boxes and i do think that they would actually fit that would actually fit perfectly in there but i'm wondering whether to use this one or this basket because that one doesn't fit in there so that's my answer <laughs> yeah that one doesn't fit so We'll go with the acrylic one then so i'm just gonna tidy this up a little bit it's pretty these are pretty neat a lot of the time also please don't judge the amount of biscuits and stuff we have at the moment it has just been christmas so we are still making our way through the yards and meters of oreos and fingers that we had so yeah at least they're a little bit neater and we'll pop them in the snack cupboard as well all the snacks are in there together now and that looks so much better i really do feel like this cupboard is going to work so much better for me now i'm just going to give it a quick clear out the top just to make sure um everything is okay and then i will mo move on to the next cupboard the next corner cupboard so this one again it doesn't overly work now this one the bottom shelf is okay really roughly and it is the top shelf that is a bit of a pain so this one is actually what i call the lunch and tea and coffee sugar one so i've got all my kind of electronic equipment down the bottom so i've got like my air fryer i've got my slow cooker i've got my soup maker i've got my Nutribullet or my aldi neutral blender and then i have in this basket like all egg cups and stuff which i don't know why is separate i don't actually know what i'm gonna do with those yet i'm still unsure of where to actually even put them um i'm still thinking and then i've got the tea coffee sugar and stuff at the top now again that's something i'm really unsure of but i do think it works well being next to the kettle and the coffee maker but i think maybe i just need to sort it out a little bit more because again it just gets all shoved in there it is so unorganized and it's just not working and then the other thing i have in here is like the flasks and cups travel mugs lunch boxes and stuff like that so the electronic side of things is actually okay i'm gonna leave them as they are because it just works well but then i'm just gonna get out so for example this i don't know why it hasn't been put back so i can just put that back that'll um tidy that up a little bit actually a little bit better on the bottom already because to be honest everything in there i use um so i'm happy with that to stay as it is i get my slow cooker out quite a lot so it's nice and easy and accessible so i've just taken out a big tub of bottles which i used as you just saw for the um snack cupboard so i've just put them all into like this little basket for now but obviously they're not going to stay in there because they don't fit um and then I'm just going to get everything out and see where I stand. Ignore the wrapping paper, birthday wrapping paper behind me. That's about how organised my life is. That's from Lucas's birthday in November, December. So, never mind. We, we watch the sun go down over the... Okay, so this is pretty much everything. Um, I've got all like the lunch boxes in here. I don't know why this is still in the back because, um, I mean, Matt doesn't really use a lunch box anymore. So 
I do love his little man food satchel. I really do. I used to have this at work. I used to have a little flask for that as well, which I don't know where it's gone. Oh, man drink. So I'll probably keep that. I do really, really love that little set. I think it's so nice. Um, the kids will probably can have that at some point when they're a bit older. So in here I can squish it down Leo's got a Liverpool one and then we've got oh my god got a Minecraft one which has got the world's worst bottle in I'm wondering whether to just get rid of the bottle because this is not a great bottle does any other bottle fit in yeah I think we'll get rid of the bottle that goes with it because it's awful. Um, but I can keep the lunch box. Because this can come in useful for Lucas when he goes to school. Because he starts school in September. Um, that in there. And then I think I've got a Marvel one over here as well. Let's see. Oh god, it's actually got stuff in it. I've been looking for this bottle for so long. Found it now. I actually do have lunch boxes for this one as well. So all the lunch boxes now are in here. Now the only other thing that I have, which um, I'm thinking whether to just put in with it, is I've just got like these other couple of lunch boxes. So I've got these Tupperware, which are really, really useful. Um, and then I've also got these sandwich boxes, which I actually got from Cherries, I believe. Um, they're really good too. Who remembers these? Cadbury's mini roll safes. These are from when I was a little girl. Like, how old are they? Wondering if that's in there. Oh my god, they do! So they were meant to be. I've got one each then. Okay, and I'm just wondering if that'll oh, it does. just fit like the tub. I've just put that tub. I know it's a tub inside a tub, but at least it just keeps that separate so I can just lift it out if need be. And then this round so the wire behind me Let's put the light and then at least that can go hopefully go into the back over there and at least that's just saved so much space because like I say it's not something we use every day but it needs to be stored so that is awesome so the next thing I've got is um drinks flasks and i've got so many cups and flasks it is crazy now i've got these really nice water bottles god knows what happened to that um like flask bottle things i mean never use them and it's such a shame um but i think i'm gonna have to give them to charity because i've got a lovely water bottle i use and then when i use if i ever go anywhere and i've got a travel flask I've got a travel flask, so I think I'm going to give those to charity. I've got a flask, which I did my little cricket polar bear on when I was practicing. Um, then what's in here? We've got some wooden cutlery. I'm trying to see if I've got a cutlery to put those in. And then we've got some travel cups. Add it a little bit, that stopper. I don't use mine of that anymore because I've now got my cream one. Okay, so I just went and grabbed the other two. Ignore this lead. It's from the ring light. And I can't quite put it anywhere. Without knocking you over. So it's just going to have to knock me out for the video. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, I just grabbed a couple more of these bottles when I went into Home Bargains the other day. They haven't had them for so long. They are just £2.50. They are like a dupe of the Hydrate Mate um, because they've got the times down the side and it just says H2O on the go. Um, I just picked up a couple of those because the boys' bottles now are really disgusting, even though we like try and clean them a lot. 
um that just happened so they got some little bottles for school and then we just got i've just replenished the big ones um i've got one of these flasks matt has got a black one as well so we've got one of those each i think he has got a matt dudley one somewhere anyway we've got a flask each so i've put those two in there and then also i will keep this big flask just in case we go out on any like day excursions and we need a flask so I think that is plenty to keep. I don't think we need any more than that. Um, and then I'm just gonna pop these. I might just pop these on the bottom shelf that are here. I've got all these egg cups, which I don't know what to do with. Um, I'm thinking that I might just take my egg cups and put them in my normal cupboard where I put like all my dishes and everything because I've literally got like five. I don't, I've even got six. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I've just got five of these egg cups over there for now this wire is really irritating me so it's probably irritating you too let's see if i can just move you that way a little bit to wedge it <laughs> okay right so what i've got left is a few cups and then i've got like my tea coffee sugar but i only have i've got a cr one acrylic one and i've got two wire baskets let's just see what i've got so i've got a giant hot chocolate i've got my tea bags i've got sugar and i've got my brown sugar okay so I, and then i've got like all my sweetener and stuff okay so if i put the tea bags and coffee into one because i've got quite a lot of like I've got all like my packet coffee. Let me just bring me down a little bit. So if I put my packet coffee in here, and I've got my this from Aldi is incredible. It's like a dupe of the um Nescafe Intenso. Is it no Nescafe? I don't know, but it's really nice. It is a bit more pricey though. I think it's like two pound fifty, I wanna say, but it is really nice. <laughs> I do say for myself okay so i've got my coffee and tea in there i haven't got another one of these see-through ones well i have but i've got like snacks in it at the moment i'm wondering whether to swap that out so that i've got the two see-through ones in here because at the moment I have got a see-through one in that cupboard over there which has got more snacks in which i shouldn't have really my keeps telling me off to have all these snacks um but i have got a chocolate like, box at the top so i'm thinking maybe if i put all the chocolate into one box um i'll sort through some of this because some of this has been in here for a while some of it is from christmas um this is all christmas has anybody else just like turned into Cadbury's world after Christmas? I don't even know where it's all coming from, if I'm honest. Ooh, very caramel. Same with that for later. Okay, so that massively helps. I've cleared another bin out. I'm going to use this for all the sugar and like hot chocolate. So I've got granulated sugar and demerara sugar. And then I've got, I should really like aim down a little bit, shouldn't I, so you can see this. Don't judge the fact that I've taken out Caramel Freddo for later, but this is very, very hungry work. <laughs> so now I've got left um, this. So now I've got left like my sweetener. So I've got two sweeteners. That can actually fill up my jar over there, I think. But yeah, I can fill that up got hot chocolate um i do also have this options hot chocolate but it's really disgusting so that's gonna go and um, i've got some marshmallows with the hot chocolate for the boys and then i've got some tea i bought these mulled wine infusion tea because i was drinking so much mulled wine over christmas and it's not good it's obviously really high in calories so i thought when i fancy something warm and nice like that i thought i'd get myself a mulled wine infusion tea so these teas actually i might try and fit in the 
tea and coffee one. And then I've just got some sweeteners, which I don't know why they're in there, but hey ho. So we have another box. And then I'm just gonna see if I can just fit these teas in the back of this one. I've got the tea and coffee one and then the sugar one, which could potentially they can go far back there. So that just looks loads neater. And then I actually have a whole space around here now with nothing there um so i'm just debating what to put in that um because i've got nothing left which is amazing um i'm just gonna leave it empty i think for now because you never know i might just put some baskets in there to keep it empty yeah i'm really pleased with that that looks so much better and it's gonna work so much more okay so i've moved around again I just went to put some of my like flour and sugar and stuff in my trolleys in the cupboard and I realised that I had um, my egg poacher and electric knife and also my sandwich make like toasty maker. So what I've done is I've put them in these baskets instead and now that whole bottom shelf is just electronics and then I've just moved the bottles up to there um, and then all my electronics are now down in that corner cupboard which is easily accessible and just looks a lot neater so now i'm just going to put because like i just said i just had some um like flour and sugar and stuff so i'm going to show you what trolley i've just taken them out and where i'm going to put them same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect another little cupboard that i just wanted to have a little bit of a sort out so as you can see these are mainly this is the cupboard under the stairs let me see my kitchen roll anyway at the top i have like dessert tins which i eventually want to just like sort out a little bit and then down here i've got my main like larger of tins and i do want to be able to put um I don't know, just make this a little bit more usable because I've got these trolleys down here. So this is the trolley that I said um, I had my electrical stuff in that I've just emptied out. And this normally has like potatoes and onions in. But I do find that this cupboard is a little bit warm for my potatoes because a central heating pipe runs down like on this wall. And so they sprout and go soft really quick. So I'm keeping at the minute, I'm keeping my potatoes in the fridge. I don't know whether you're supposed to, but they seem to keep so well. Um, so I've also got these onions normally in here, but again, they're going to go into the fridge now. Um, behind there, I have things like the chocolate fountain, the popcorn maker, my mixer, so big appliances. And then I've got these two trolleys that I bought from Ikea. Um, I will leave them linked below, but basically, you can get them out one at a time. And in this one, I have got in the top, I've got like cake baking stuff. So I've got like loads of icing sugar in here. Just like loads of empty, do you find this? You've like loads of half empty ones. Um, I've got some brown sugar, some coconut shavings and like some cast sugar. So I don't really know how or what I'm gonna do. I really wanna get some like little jars for them potentially. Maybe some little kiln the jars from um, Ikea or something. But I just feel like this is going to be better to put my flour and sugar in. Um, and like rice and pasta and things. Because the rice and pasta used to be on there. Um, in these little boxes. They used to be behind the tins. So I'm just going to do one trolley with like flour and sugar. And then another one with pasta. Um, and I just think it would like, it will work a bit better. Well, I hope so anyway, so I'm just gonna give it a go. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all this thing Okay, the 
last thing I'm just going to quickly do now I do want to do some lovely labels with my Cricut um, because I've got to do some for the hand soap and dish soap but if I'm doing something really really quick I cannot be without my Dymo I've had this for years um, you can get the ribbons I've picked mine up from Aldi the other day um, but I'm just doing this put what's in here for now just while it's new and so I know and for, I'm just going to type in rice print that off um this can go in this one cut it off Put a little um label there just saying rice so i'm just going to pop that on this one here so i know what's in it like so and then i'm just going to do what is in the top here see i forgot already <laughs> this is pasta this definitely doesn't look as nice as the Cricut, but at the end of the day, if you're just wanting to do something nice and quick, especially if it's like in a garage or something, and you just want to put on what's in there just for your own peace of mind. So this is, um, well, you can see what's in that one, so I think it'll be all right. So this is baking. That is that one nicely done. I'm just going to give you a close-up and then that's it i think i've kind of organized everything i need to there is one more spice drawer that i want to do which i'll do on another video because otherwise this is going to be when so you're with her i can see that that you miss me <laughs> that's it guys that is me organizing some of the cupboards in my kitchen i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye you said